We have uh, Tezo, symbol XTZ, uh, versus the dollar here. We'll do a general of this, of this one from, from Mr. Tony. We do see that hidden bullish divergence from the 8th of September playing out absolutely phenomenally. I wouldn't necessarily always look for a result like this, but pretty fucking good. Now I look for daily BBWP to kind of judge when this one's getting a little bit too hot and probably going to be get a consolidation somewhat lower. Um, and the, and it's getting it's getting up there. It is about 92 percentile right now. I want to see this get at least to 95 percentile, preferably all the way to 100 percentile, because this is a major macro move. I assume the weekly already closed on new all time highs, um, just barely. But it, this this is looking good for continuation. This 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 is a pretty damn strong chart right here. Full hour also same thing, uh, looking good for continuation. Do we have any sort of divergences to be aware of? No, not really. But full hour jewel does say hold your longs at least for now. And I'd also be looking at full hour BBWP getting above that same sort of level in conjunction with the daily to kind of judge the next sort of medium term, maybe even daily pullback as well. Anyway, let's go check out um, momentum also is over here and then we'll come up with invalidation points uh, and see what's see what's up right there. Full hour or sorry, hourly stokes remain to the upside as long as above 740, full hour above 730, 12 hour above 696 and daily above six 630. Yeah, I, I do expect that this one does have another high, higher sort of go. Now, I would invalidate this below about 680, 685 or just let's just say 680. It's easier to say. Um, let's see where some algo targets might be overlaid on this one. Oh, I actually don't have this one charted out um, for this uh, specific purpose. Let's just see. Uh, here we go. All right. We are at uh, the 1414. Obviously, we've already played out our pullback from there. Fucking Man, this one plays technically be between the 414 and the 272. I'll be looking for next move somewhere around about 10 bucks or so on, on a daily continuation, maybe over the next week or so. Uh, this one looks good. Again, again, assuming that the invalidation point does not get met. Uh, not bad. Not bad for Tezos at all, actually.